Yes. All right. All right. Sloppy Joe here. We're doing an experiment on dyeing uh, AK mags plum. So we started off with a Tapco uh, AK mag that was Bakelite orange. And we've had one go around in the super scientific dye container, which is just a leftover protein bottle. Um, luckily, it didn't burst when we put boiling water in it, so that's good. So we're doing a Tapco and a U.S. Palm Bakelite red color mag. Um, and the U.S. Palm mag is a different type of orange. It's not as porous. So this needs a definitely another go around. This one actually might I call I might call this one done, or I'll just cook it in the uh, in the dye a little bit shorter. So we're gonna drop those in, and what we're gonna do is we're using Rit black dye. Uh, you could just pick this up at any craft store. Uh, I got it at a local Fred Meyer um, grocery slash everything everything store. Uh, it was like three bucks. So we've got water boiling. So we're gonna pour water in, add the dye, mix it all up, put the cap on it, um, maybe this. Well, we're still experimenting. So this could go very good or very bad. We're gonna find out right now. So. Here we've got boiling water, we're gonna add it. And from what I read, the hotter the better when it comes to the water. And that is just to the brim, so perfect. Now we're going to add the rest of this dye, just like that. And make sure to mix it up. Just gonna screw cap on. Like so. So you can see, if you look in the sink, if you can, you can already see it's kind of a purple color anyway. So all we're gonna do is just try to leach that into the pores of the plastic. And from what I read, the hotter the better. Um for it to seep in. So we're gonna see what happens. I mean, we can already see. I've just been touching it just a little bit and my fingertips are now all purple. So we're gonna give this 30 seconds to a minute. We'll check on it. If we need to go longer, we will. Um, so we'll uh, pause it here, let this do its cooking. Uh, actually, you know what? It's actually already been about 30 seconds. So I'm just gonna give this a shake. And I'm going to avert my eyes because I knew that was going to pop because we already did this one time and we blew purple water all over the sink. Let's see, we have, we have our tongs. Have a look. I can't see anything, it's so dark. Oh, there we go. So that is, that's our tap go. And I don't know about you, but I think, I think that one's done. You can see it's rapidly cooling. So I think we're good with that one. We'll let that chill do its thing. Let's check on, if I can find it in here, there it is. Here is, okay, so the U.S. Palm needs some more time. It's still very, very much showing a lot of Bakelite red color through there. So we'll let that cook. We'll let that go for a while longer. We'll just let that sit. But we'll come back and check on that and I'm going to give it 10 minutes and we'll see. But, yeah, this is already cool to the touch. So I'm just going to give it a quick rinse. Just some cool water.
give it a quick wipe down. So, as you can see, there. We've now turned a Bakelite magazine to plum. So, we'll uh, let this other US palm go for another 20 minutes. I think it's going to need some time to seep in. And then uh, we'll dry these all up and get them under some good light. And uh, we'll see what happens. We'll come back in a little while.